Hi, welcome back to Market Rate Watch. This is Mark Blunden with eXp Realty. Welcome to episode five. Mortgage data in this video is from August 9th, 2024. Now let's jump straight into the 30 year fixed rate mortgage, which fell again last week down to 6.54%. The 15 year fixed rate mortgage fell again down to 6.07%. That's about an eight basis point drop. The jumbo mortgage, that's the 30 year jumbo, that fell down to 6.73%, that's a seven point drop. And finally, the 7.6 adjustable rate mortgage that we look at, that went up slightly by six basis points. Now, what does this all mean in terms of principal and interest payments if you were to take out a new mortgage today? Well, for the 30 year fixed rate mortgage on a $500,000 mortgage balance, you're looking at a principal and interest payment of $3,174. That is down approximately another $25 compared to last week. And for a $1 million balance on the 30 year fixed, you're looking at a monthly principal and interest payment of $6,347. Now, if you're going for a 15 year fixed rate mortgage on a $500,000 balance, your P&I payment, that's principal and interest, is going to be about $4,230. $38. And if it's a $1 million balance, your P&I payment will be about $8,475. Now, on a 30-year jumbo mortgage with a $2 million balance, your P&I payment will be approximately $12,945. That is down less than $100 from last week. And finally, the 7.6 adjustable rate mortgage. That's one where the rate is fixed for the first seven years, then adjustable every six months thereafter. On a $500,000 balance on a 7.6 adjustable rate mortgage, your P&I payment will be $3,124. That is up about $20 on last week. And finally, economic news. At the beginning of August, we had a disappointing jobs report, which led to a big sell-off in the equities markets. And next week, we have the July CPI or inflation data being released. Now, that is a key data release because if it continues to show that price rises are slowing, then that could be a leading indicator of bigger rate cuts by the Fed towards the end of the year. However, currently, the Fed is expected to cut the base rate by a quarter of a percent at the September meeting. Now, when that happens, don't expect big drops in mortgage rates because rates are driven by expectations and the expectation is that that rate cut is going to happen. So that is already baked into current mortgage rates. That is it for this week, episode five of Mortgage Market Rate Watch. I am Mark Blunden with eXp Realty. Until next time.